Yo my YouTube family, back again with another clip for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. My job is just to bring the clips to you and for you to watch it and react and comment and like and do what you have to do. Yes, yeah, so just do that. What you're going to do is it a three step program. Blue lid off. You are going to take the needle end, hold it like this, not with your thumb on top, not with your thumb on the bottom, like this so you don't get punctured and insert it into the outer thigh, the side of their thigh, not the top, not the back, not the stomach, not the chest, not the neck, the side of the thigh. This is where your bigger muscles are. Typically, this is the larger part of your body. You do not want this puncturing through a bone, okay? And if it's in the outer thigh, it never will. The needle is typically about this big. And for people with needle phobias, you will not see the needle ever coming in or out of this, okay? The needle end cover extends, so it will always cover the needle. So if that's your fear of needles, you won't have to see one. Once you insert it into the outer thigh, you are going to hold for 10 seconds. Count out loud. You always count faster when you count in your head. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, all the way up to 10 to make sure they get the full adult dose. Most EpiPens now, you only need to hold it for three seconds. But older EpiPens, you need to hold it for 10 seconds. So I just say hold it for 10 seconds on all EpiPens, all right? Once you're done delivering the dose, keep the EpiPen. Do not throw it away. Once medical assistance arrives, they need to see how much epinephrine the person was given, okay? And no matter what, I always tell people this. If the person having the anaphylactic reaction tells you not to call 911, I don't give a shit how close you are or how much they beg, call 911. This only holds off a reaction. It does not cure it. It will not stop it. It holds it off long enough so that medical assistance can arrive and work on the person. Okay? Now, epinephrine is pure adrenaline. Okay? They're going to be bouncy. They're going to be jittery. This is a normal reaction. Do not be afraid of it. In fact, most of the time after I'm given epinephrine, I can't talk because my brain is running at like 10,000 miles an hour and words can't come out of my mouth. Do not be alarmed. All right? Unless I go unconscious, then you would be alarmed. But please... Just share this video and get it out there. And when in doubt, blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. Okay? That's it.